Hey, 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 we're Snappers, this is Jordan with Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Great Version Season 4. Uh, we are kicking off week 5 this week with badge number 2, uh, rounding out the ZU quote unquote tier uh, before we move on into PU. Uh, this week we rolled uh, the psychic type, or kind of rolled the psychic type. I think we rolled poison, but then we decided that uh, there just weren't, there was like two poison types in all of. Uh, uh, quote unquote ZU and the not fully evolved tiers. So we went for something slightly more populated. Um, I am joined today by uh, Tortellini and Tortoni. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> that works too. Uh, and we started off this week up against Jim Trader Codeman. And uh, yeah, Codeman immediately uh, showed a deficit of my team, or deficiency of my team, I guess I should say. I did not come prepared for fair types at all. Uh, I think I previously, last week, maybe had Gunk Shot on Apollo, uh, but I took it off uh, in favor of Night Slash because I was going up against the same gym. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Luna, the Wigglytuff. Um, do you know what it says on the Smogon page for Wigglytuff? Uh, it says ZU, just don't use Wigglytuff. It's that bad, and yet, <laughs> Codeman's a uh, five Pokemon team. Uh, he didn't need more than uh, more than the Wigglytuff that they just straight up recommend you don't use uh, to clean the floor with me. So thanks so much for participating this week, Gym Trainer Codeman. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, man, I love Wigglytuff, but uh, that's a tough one to swallow. Alrighty, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Thanks so much for participating again this week, Codeman. Say so here we go. Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we are up against Gym Trainer Mac, and Mac leads off with his Meditite. Uh, I lead off with Beethoven, my shiny Cricketune. I guess I should talk about some of the new team members we've got on this week. We've got Cricketune, um, Bruno uh, is returning from Little Cup, uh, as well as Stormcrow and Apollo, and then we've got Beethoven, the shiny Cricketune. We've got uh, Annabelle, the Banet, and then we've got uh, Professor Alerce, the uh, Sudowoodo. Um, Stormcrow setting up the Tailwind. Uh, we did get the webs up this time, uh, but Liberty is hovering above them, uh, so the Tailwind's gonna help us out in the meantime. Annabelle throwing up the damage there and taking down the Bronzor. Uh, at which point then Dedenne comes in, gets webbed a little bit, but Annabelle's going to get nuzzled, uh, which is going to uh, eliminate our speed uh, 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 benefit. Uh, and then the Shadow Sneak coming in, not affected by paralysis, thankfully, and able to do some damage to Dedenne before uh, Stormcrow comes in and does not manage to knock it out with a Hurricane, uh, but finally able to finish it off with a U-turn there. Then Professor Alerse comes in up against Oink. A lot of PTSD from Grumpig last week. Uh, several of you guys used Grumpig to great effect, uh, so uh, yeah, trying not to mess around with this pig too much uh, uh, this week. Uh, Alerse uh, going for the Sucker Punch there, uh, missing out, uh, at getting the Stealth Rocks up, and then this little thing starts uh, <laughs> starts speed boosting, which is uh, scary, and I'm not sure why, sure why a little Cupcake Bird gets speed boost, although I guess Torchic gets it too. I, I don't know what the, what the thought process is there, but... Uh, Speed boost, scary. Uh, Apollo gonna go down to a psychic there, uh, and then Beethoven coming in, gonna go down to rocks. Storm gonna come in and almost go down to rocks, and then go down to a psychic. So a uh, uh, decisive victory there for Gym Trainer Mac. Thank you so much for participating this week, Mac. I greatly appreciate it. Let's move on to the next battle, shall we? Say here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Say alrighty, guys. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty guys, we are up against a gym trainer Scad, and Scad leads off with Nebula. Uh, she's real sick of uh, all the speed tactics I've been taking uh, the last, uh, well, most of the season, really. Uh, and so she brought Trick Room in this week. Annabelle able to finish up the Orangaru, uh, Orangatangu, or whatever that Pokemon's name is, then goes down. Paulo then comes in with the Night Slash, not going to be able to do enough up against Nebula, but... Uh, going to throw up the dark type there, uh, terra typing in case of an incoming psychic. Uh, Professor Lair going to take a hard dazzling gleam and not be able to get any damage off before Squish finishes it off. Again, another Wigglytuff just uh, ruining my week. Uh, Stormcrow comes in, throws up the hurricane. 
uh, Thunderbolt. I do get the Paralysis roll off on the Thunderbolt, which was nice. I tried for that uh, in a couple battles later in the week, too, and because I was like, oh, Paralysis, right, that could be helpful. Uh, all else fails, go for Paralysis, but uh, uh, alas, no. Beethoven does get the webs up here. Um, Scad's Trick Room Setter is gone, or at least uh, I think it is. Uh, Squish then switches in, gonna get the lower, but the Crunch not gonna do a whole lot there. Uh, and Bruno gonna switch out. Beethoven coming in, gonna take a hard Dazzling Gleam uh, and uh, force out the Wigglytuff, at which point then we get a pounce off on Rocky, the Metatite, and Beethoven draws uh, his first blood of the week, I think. <laughs> uh, down goes the Metatite. Uh, Beethoven uh, doing pretty decent damage. Uh, uh, I think I got a little bit uh, of a wrong picture of how much damage Beethoven could do because I think uh, did pretty good against that Metatite and then I was hoping for similar results later in the week and did not get them. Uh, Bruno comes in and throws up the Psychic Fangs. We're going to take a hard Dazzling Gleam and go down. And another decisive victory from our gym trainers here this week. Thank you so much for participating uh, this week's you know, gym trainer scad. I greatly appreciate it. Say, I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Alrighty, we're gonna move on to the next one. Thanks so much, Scad. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, here we are up against gym trainer Shunasaurus, and Shun leads off with Donner the Stantler. Uh, Eviolite Stantler, uh, scary. Yeah, I, I almost used it uh, on when I started this tier, but I wanted to use Oink Alone last week, and I didn't want to run two, uh, two normal types, so I, I opted not to last week. Uh, but yeah, I really wanted to get in there with Stantler too. was really excited about the Weirdier evolution in Legends. Uh, Babe then, another Grumpig. I think Shun was the one who uh, really uh, gave me the PTSD with Grumpig last week. So excited to be able to finish that thing off quickly. Uh, Annabelle then going to get the Will-O-Wisp up off on Donner. Uh, go down. Uh, a little bit of chip damage uh, never hurt anybody. Uh, Apollo able to do decent damage, but not enough. And the Psycho Badge going to come in and do real good work. Uh, at which point then Paula will then finish off the Stantler. Uh, so Apollo getting a little bit of work here in the Psychic Gym. Switching back out, Bruno coming in with the Intimidate. Not going to really do a whole lot to uh, uh, the Flittle here. Uh, Flittle going for the Fighting type Terra though, uh, which just ends my week, I think. I think this is the end of the line uh, because that gives him then um, either Fighting type moves or Psychic moves, which uh, it manages uh, to, to take out the rest of the team because he's got uh, stored power or whatever. So anybody who is immune to the stored power uh, is going to go down to the Terra Blast, uh, as you see a dark type Apollo doing there. Uh, and then Bruno comes in, going to get that Intimidate up, but again, doesn't matter. Going to go down in one shot to the Fighting Terra Blast. And uh, uh, Alarise going to come in and get the Sucker Punch off. But uh, again, she's Fighting type now, so that doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. And down goes the Sudowoodo. i got to get better with using Terra Blast. I feel like usually I've got coverage, but I, I just, I still haven't, like, I guess I, 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 I intended to use, I, I think I'd originally put it on Apollo, um, but then I decided to go with Night Slash, because I'm like, well, if I don't end up getting, using my Terra on Apollo, I want to still have a dark type move for this week, so, uh, I decided to ultimately take it off, but, uh, yeah, thank you so much for participating this week, Shun, another very decisive victory, <laughs> I do promise, we get a badge this week, spoiler alert. We do win one of these, I promise. But uh, thank you so much for participating in this week, Sean. I greatly appreciate it. Sure. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? There you go. Here we go. Alrighty, guys. And here we are up against Gym Trainer Flygon. And, uh, ooh, do good damage there from the Metatite up against Beethoven. The Fire Punch and the Bullet Punch. Uh, not messing around with any kind of setup at all. At the very beginning, he's just going, getting rid of my lead. Uh, Stormcrow then coming in, getting the Tailwind set up. We weren't able to get webs off, but uh, at least get the Tailwind. Uh, Bruno uh, immune to the Psychic, so that works out really nicely. Uh, Morgrim basically immune to the Crunch there. Uh, Parting Shot coming in and lowering the attack stats of... Uh, Stormcrow there, uh, Performance Animal, the Stantler uh, going ahead and getting the Terra into being pure Psychic, uh, so Flycon staying on theme there. Uh, not, that, not that it's not anyway, uh, Stantler evolves into a Psychic type, it's totally legal. Um, uh, Annabelle able to finish off the now Psychic Stantler though, and uh, Stormcrow going to come in and take that Dark Pulse, yeah! Uh, Professor Alerse comes in, gonna get the stat lower from that parting shot. That Morgrim was annoying in this battle. Uh, Annabelle comes in and tricks the Metatite into a high jump kick, giving it half the health. Yeah! Uh, and, uh, Annabelle switching out in face of the Morgrim again. The Dark Pulse not doing much against Bruno. Bruno gonna go ahead and, uh, Terra into Fairy, hoping to get some damage off on Morgrim, but, uh, it switches out in favor of the... 
Oranguru. Ah, oh, it's a guru. A yeah, okay. Um, and uh, Apollo gonna come in. Oranguru is normal psychic, so I was hoping for enough damage there. Uh, but uh, alas, Apollo goes down, and Professor Alaris has got to come in and finish off. Uh, at which point, then uh, Flygon's own Bennett switches in. Uh, and gonna do some good damage before getting head smashed into oblivion. Um, and then Professor Alerse gonna throw up the sucker punch against uh, the Gathiel and then go down to an energy ball there. Now it's a 1v3 and uh, Bruno comes in. Uh, Terrid into Fairy. I, I decide to lock myself into the play rough. I've got Choice Scarf and I just figured that's gonna be my best bet. So um, go ahead and take down the Gathiel. Take down the Metatite, and then uh, the Morgrim comes in and going to take down the uh, Morgrim. Uh, finishing off that cleanup sweep there, Bruno did good work. Po uh, Flygon uh, is, uh, I should have moved him to the end of the of the gym trainers because he is the honorary uh, <laughs> honorary gym, uh, gym leader uh, this week. Uh, this was our closest battle of the week. Um, I just felt like uh, the one who got gym leader was slightly more on theme. Uh, but we'll talk about that more later. But Flygon definitely had a great uh, battle this week, um, and uh, one of the one of the best examples of uh, of the week. So uh, I wanted to at least call it out there, even though I ultimately decided to uh, to to give the psychic gym leader status to uh, another. So uh, let's move on to the next one, shall we? And we'll see how the rest of the gym shakes out. Here we go. Thank you. Alrighty guys, and here we are up against Gym Trainer Addy, and uh, Beethoven comes out up against the Oranguru. Uh, both end up switching out. Bruno comes in up against the Dedene. Dedene starts setting up the sub, and Beethoven comes back out. The Nuzzle setting up the paralysis there. Uh, not really scared of the Dedene, so I figured I'd go ahead and get the web set up, but then Apollo switches in and gets wrecked, so uh, that may not have been the smartest move. Um, go ahead and head smash the sub. Uh, and get that uh, out. Uh, then the Sucker Punch gonna get resisted and come in, but Alerse goes down. Uh, Annabelle then comes in, finishes it off with a Shadow Sneak, at which point then Stantler switches in. The Intimidate actually gonna do some work because uh, running physical uh, Bennett here. I guess I don't know if that's typical or not. Don't really use the line very much. Uh, Stormcrow then comes in, gets the Thunderbolt off, and does decent damage before going down to a Body Slam. Bruno comes in with the Intimidate, gets the Crunch off, and finishes off the Stantler. Uh, at which point then, Metatite is going to come in, throw up a hard close combat on Beethoven, um, and then Beethoven's going to go down. Metatite doing good work lowering its own defenses for me there, though. Uh, it switches out. The Shadow Claw going to be, uh, obviously, uh, Oranguru uh, immune to that. The Knockoff doing good work, though, getting rid of... Uh, the item and then the Pokemon, so that works out nicely for us. Uh, Grumpig then comes in and Terra's into ground, uh, so that's fun. Gets the boost there for the Earth Power. Uh, Bruno comes in with Intimidate, obviously not doing anything against the special attack in Grumpig. Uh, able to survive an Earth Power though, and then finish off the uh, the pig there. Uh, Metatite then switches in. Bruno goes for the uh, Fairy type. I expected in close combat, but uh, not enough to survive it either way, and he goes down, and Gym Trainer Addy takes the battle. Uh, so thank you so much for participating this week, uh, Gym Trainer Addy. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against the final Gym Trainer for today, which is a Gym Trainer update. Uh, we've got Bronzor and Beethoven on the field. Beethoven going to switch out. Annabelle going to be immune to the Body Slam there. Gets a good knockoff off, gets rid of the Eviolite. Uh, going to take that Earthquake like it's nobody's business, uh, and then finish off the Bronzor. Uh, at which point then, uh, Gothiel... Goth yeah, Gaffiel got it right. Uh, comes in and goes down to a single knockoff there. Uh, Hypno then also going to take a hard hit. Um, and then Brenda comes in, forcing out uh, the now Dark-type Bennett. Uh, Beethoven comes in to take that close combat. Uh, not going to survive it. Uh, and then uh, Meditate switches out due to the uh, stat lowers there. Uh, Hippie Steve going to come in and tank a hurricane very well. Um, gets Encore off on Stormcrow, so Stormcrow going to come out. Uh, and Annabelle going to come back in and get a good knockoff off. Uh, at which point then she switches back out. Apollo comes in and goes down to one hit. <laughs> Did that a lot this week. Uh, Stormcrow comes in and going to throw up the hurricane there. The pig taking it very well. Taking the super effective U-turn very well as well. Uh, Professor Lerse comes in, able to take the side shot, gets the head smash, and finishes off the pig before its setups can cause me too much trouble. Uh, at which point then Brenda comes in, uh, is going to throw up the close combat on Professor Lerse, get the stat drop. 
at which point then Watchroll comes in, throws up the Hurricane, which misses the close combat lands, and Stormcrow goes down. Really wanted Stormcrow to be able to get that KO, but not going to happen there. Bruno then switches in and throws up the Play Rough, finishing off the Meditite. So, uh, another victory! We got, we got more than one! <laughs> Uh, another victory this week. Um, thank you so much for participating this week. Uh, Jim Trainer update. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's jump into our final battle of the week, shall we? And then we'll check out the spreadsheet. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against Gym Leader Klungar. Uh, Klungar came in with a full Psychic or Psychic-adjacent uh, 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 team. Stantler evolves into a Psychic type, so it it counts. Uh, not even on technicality, it counts. Uh, and then came in with the Avatar update, so uh, this is not going to be quite as close as the Flygon battle, but uh, it was still uh, a, a real good battle, and I just felt that the... Uh, felt felt right for the psychic uh, gym to go here. I know Flygon's holding out hope for uh, some gym leader status uh, later in the series anyway, uh, so uh, I don't think he'll be too heartbroken. Uh, Bruno comes in and uh, is just going to town on this little cupcake bird. Uh, it's getting all the speed boosts in the world up, the subs landing, and then the Terra Blast going to come in. Not enough to finish off Bruno, which is actually super surprising, uh, and then uh, goes down. Stantler then comes in. Uh, and uh, is gonna be we're gonna be immune to its double edge there, forcing it out. The Willow Wisp landing on the Aranguru probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference, uh, but that knockoff will uh, doing good damage there. Uh, the Encore not gonna really matter because uh, I was gonna hit it with another knockoff anyway, so that worked out pretty well. Uh, Medea then gonna come in, throw up the Shadow Ball. Annabelle uh, takes it pretty well there and able to finish off the Grumpig. Thankfully, we did not have any embarrassing Grumpig sweeps this week like we had last time. Uh, Bennett going down to the Stantler there. Professor Lairsay going down, or, or taking a hard damage there. Getting the uh, rocks up just in case we get more sh switching shenanigans. Want to get a little bit of uh, what we, a little bit of damage there. The competitive setting up on the Gothiel. Not super excited by that. Going to U-turn out into Bruno uh, in case a psychic move is incoming. But the Dark Pulse lands and finishes off uh, the uh, Mashif. Yeah, that's its name. Apollo uh, immune. Finally, our dark type uh, Terra doing some good work there. Immune to the psychic type. Able to do some work. Apollo not just going down in one hit this battle. Um, the Night Slash doing good work on the Hypno. Able to regain some health there with the Draining Kiss. Uh, but Apollo able to finish off with another Night Slash. At which point then uh, the Stantler comes in. Throws up the Intimidates. So we're going to switch on out. Uh, Beethoven going down to the double edge there. Uh, and then Stormcrow comes in. Uh, we got some pretty good damage off on a previous Stantler, so I figured we'd try that out. Um, and uh, able to do some good work there before going down uh, herself. Professor Lairsay then going to come in and finish off with the Sucker Punch. So, uh, yeah, uh, a great battle there. Uh, uh, you know, the Flygon was down 1-1. Uh, to one. This one was 2-1, uh, to one, uh, but uh, still, I thought, worthy of the gym leader uh, position there. Uh, and if Klungar is going to keep losing to me every week, might as well give him something for, for his trouble. <laughs> oh... Yeah. yeah, he's not used to that. I don't know what's going on. He's, he's a busy man. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for participating. Thank you to everybody who participated this week, but especially Klungar. Thank you for uh, coming in and giving a good showing, uh, taking the gym leader status. I greatly appreciate it. Let's jump over to the spreadsheet now, and we will check out what we are going to be doing next week. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, so we have just wrapped up the Psychic Gym, so we'll go ahead and do that, which also ramps up our time in ZU, which means we are now going to be taking uh, part in the PU tier. Now, um, we talked about this last episode, I want to say, um, and uh, some people did a bunch of testing. I, I shouldn't say some people. Uh, Shonosaurus and Flygon um, did some good testing. Um, I think I think maybe I mentioned them last time because I think we talked about it a couple of episodes. Anyway, um, what I think we're going to do since it is a new edition, and I want to make sure we we at least test it out as a community. I think so. What we would normally be doing is rolling which encounter type we want to do next week. Um, what I think we're going to do since this is new, and uh, I, I would like to test out the format if it's going to continue to be on the... If we need to make tweaks, I would like to do those tweaks now so that any other time it comes up, 
um, we get. So I think what we're going to do is just going to roll right into a Titan encounter. And if you've not been playing uh, the most recent generation of Pokemon, basically um, Titans are kind of kind of like raid den bosses type thing. Not 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 exactly, obviously, but they are uh, they're like uh, or totem Pokemon. They're kind. Of, they're, I guess they're probably the closest analog would be like totem Pokemon, at least in the way that we're going to be doing it for sure. Um, because I, uh, the way that Shun and Flygon were able to balance it, um, it sounds like it's going to be kind of a two. Well, I'll, I will read you the exact description because I had Shun write it up for me. Um, but it's going to be a two v two type thing um, where where the totem will not the totem the Titan, uh, which. In in Scarlet Violet, they do not have a helper Pokemon, but the way that they've been able to balance it here is it'll be a 2v2, which means by necessity they will have a... Anyway, we will talk about all of that here in a minute. So we're going to be doing a Titan this week uh, in the PU tier. All right, we're jumping over now to the Discord here. Um, so this is the... I had I, I put in the Discord, I'm like, all right, Sean, you and uh, Flygon figured this out. One of you need to tell me exactly how I need to describe this to the people. So we're, gonna, we're just going to straight up read through this, and hopefully it, it makes sense to everybody in the end. So um, Titan Battles will have one Titan Pokemon at level 175. Titan Pokemon and their helper can be any legal Pokemon in the current tier of whatever type was rolled for the week. So that'll be... PU steel types. Hopefully there are steel types in the PU tier. We'll just because <laughs> there was none. There was none in uh, in ZU. So maybe, maybe we need to look at that. We'll do that here in a second. Um, uh, to achieve this, first change the level. So you you create your your two Pokemon team, uh, and then you you'll need to go into the import export. Um, so you, you initially set, uh, set the level of your Titan to 17 in the details segment of the team builder, and then go into the import export tab on Pokemon and change the level from 17 to 175. So you're going to have to actually type in to, uh, just manually change in. If you try to do it through the, the front end, it won't let you, but if you go into the back end, it'll, it'll accept it. Uh, Titan Pokemon may have five moves, uh, and a fifth move by typing it in under the fourth move in the import export page. So, uh, we, we can look at an import export here in just a second and and if for anyone I think most of you guys who participate will understand this but uh, just in case once the level and fifth move have been edited click save and exit the import export page Titan Pokemon may not terrestrialize uh, they may hold items and may have 510 EVs invested like regular Pokemon a uh, Titan Pokemon may have one one helper Pokemon. This helper also has to be the type rolled for the Titan and will be level 80, also unable to terrestrialize. Um, so your 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 Titan uh, will be 175. Your helper Pokemon will be level 80. Um, battles will be done in SV custom game doubles. Um, so that that must be a meta on there. That's what we'll be doing. Um, and then uh, he he had a Google Doc which I I have not seen. So I don't I don't know if that'll be necessary, but. All right, so I don't know what I'm going to keep in of what just happened. <laughs> but um, so we, we read through what uh, Sean described the tier tier as. Uh, we're, I'm going to try and get a little bit of a clarification on that in the Discord. Uh, everybody who participates is in the Discord, so you guys will see that there. Um, it wasn't immediately clear as we I had popped over to Showdown. It wasn't immediately clear exactly which tier we wanted to be building in. Um, so, uh, but I, I pulled up... Um, I pulled up a PU, I went to create a PU team since that's what we're going to be in. Um, and, uh, and cause we want to use, you know, exclusively PU Pokemon for this. We had rolled steel. Um, but in looking at that, there was literally only two steel type Pokemon, um, between, uh, in PU before little or, or in PU or under until we got to little cup. I, you know, if all of you come at me at the same, you know, two v one or two v two, and you all have the exact same two Pokemon, uh, because we we you know, so um, we looked. There was a, a plethora of fire types in in that in that set there. So uh, I think you guys will be able to come up with something interesting uh, with fire types. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. Um, so we, we spent a lot of time digging through that, though, so I'm probably going to cut most of that. So just as a clarification, we did a little bouncing around here. Uh, it does not like stool, look like steel is probably a very viable uh, type to go in uh, for this particular challenge. Uh, so I think we're going to go with a fire type Titan uh, for this week. So get your... Uh, Get your uh, two Pokemon uh, Titan teams put together. Um, one Titan uh, that is level 175, and then a helper Pokemon that is level uh, 80. Uh, and uh, that seems to be what they were able to balance it out as. Uh, no terrestrializing. 
um, but you can have held items and all full EVs and everything like that. Um, and yeah, that seems to be how Shun and Flygon were able to figure out a good balance. I guess we'll see, uh, kind of why I wanted to jump into this is just kind of let's see, okay, um, is that going to prove to be balanced? Is that going to work out? Let's let's work out the kinks uh, here early. Uh, and since we, uh, you know, we just added to the roster, like, hey, let's do it. Who knows if we're going to ever get one randomized again? So uh, we'll just go ahead and pick it and we'll run with that. So um, uh, pay attention to the Discord. We will get the the finer points clarified uh, about uh, exactly which uh, which metagame we're going to be using. Uh, and, uh, and, and I think that's probably the only thing we really need to clarify. Uh, so build your PU two Pokemon teams for your Titans. Um, if you have any questions on how exactly to go about doing the changes, uh, that Shun described, um, I will go, I will go ahead in the discord and pin, um, <clears throat> pin the comment that Shun made, um, so that you guys can, can easily find it if you want to go back and review it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, as always, I've been Torm of the Great, and you guys have been great. Uh, looking forward to battling your Fire Titans this week. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torm of the Great, and you guys have been great. Have a good one.